my brother has COVID and I was like gonna go and help him go pick up something for him really quick. But on my way over here this morning to the shop, my truck kind of like sputtered and acted up a little bit. Long story short, it did something very similar to me like two and a half months ago, if not longer, I don't know, whatever. Same thing, literally almost, almost left me stranded. Like the truck was backfiring, popping, lean popping, coming here to the shop and um, ended up finding out that the truck, uh, the fuel pump went bad. So I was like, crap. At the time, we were still building my brother's car. Originally our plan with his car was to do just uh, LS1. We were just gonna do the LS1 out of the Camaro and um, just leave it NA and do it that way. Plans changed, we got the blower, and then I was like, well, let's just pull the 340, I think, pump that he had in it out, and we'll put a 525 Walbro in it. So that's what we did. So we had that pump just sitting there at 340, and so when the pumping out on this truck, I just put in the 340. But when we did that, for some reason, I didn't have like the sock that goes in the bottom of the pump, so I didn't put one on it, and I was like YOLO, like I didn't care. Um, and to be honest, I still don't care, but truck started acting up this morning and then I was gonna go pick out something for my brother. I could barely give a throttle. Uh, so that means the pump's bad. As I checked the fuel pressure, it's 20 PSI. That's no bueno. So frustrating, it's so irritating because I don't wanna go to O'Reilly's or Advanced or AutoZone and spend $350 on a fuel pump hanger assembly because that's just stupid. But I have a Walbro 525 that I could chuck in this thing. And so I'm just gonna do it because I don't have really any other options <laughs> and I kind of need this thing. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. I cut a hole in the, in the bed and then made a little panel. That's the tripod. Engage. And see, this is the kind of stupid stuff that happens. It's just, it's like, why has this happened to me? Why couldn't I just have a good old normal day? Like, And of course, it like, it just rang too. Center grab, pull up, lethal force. Oh, come on. Don't you dare. So there is Evan's fancy work. Be asking yourself, well, Evan, why on earth would you put so many stinking self tappers in this stinking thing? And I say to that, that's a good question, Evan. Why did you do that? I am a big, 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 come on, big, 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 big believer in trap doors. Evan's all like, hey man, we got a 4.8 liter. This thing needs some fuel pressure. Well, 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 what do you know? Okay, I'm gonna shut up now. That's unplugged. So, so this is the feed, because it says F. F for feed, R for remember. That's what R means in the spray. Oh, it didn't, see that's a problem, because it should, it should spray. And it did not. It didn't. Didn't. Did not. How? Shabba. They love me. Oh my goodness. Shut up, Evan. You're retarded. Okay, here you are. That's funny right there. All right. Needle nose pliers, hammer, chisel. Bam. and get a grip with it. Just need to get the... I just need to get the fuel pump up and out of here as well. So I'm gonna just do this right here. 
and then we'll put this dude right there like that. And then we will unplug said. What? What? So is that what's going on? It's not the pump, it's the it's the fuel line I have or something? Ooh, that would that might do it. Let's see here. I mean, the the I don't know if this is submersible hose, and maybe I knew that. Did Evan know that? Is it plugged up? I don't. Oh. I don't see any. There's no reason why it shouldn't work. You know what? I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna bet that this line, since it is not, and it just popped off that fitting, I'm gonna bet that what has transpired here is this hose is cracked or split. And since it wasn't actually properly sealed and firmly held around this barb in here, it literally was spraying out fuel pressure around here inside. And that's it. I hate that, that smells so bad. End up ish. Doesn't need to be perfect, right? It just, it just needs to be ish. Just dumping fuel everywhere. That's not, you know, you know, that's not, that's not a problem at all. Oh, it's a tie automotive pump? Kind of sick joke. See, down here, it doesn't seem bad. I'm thinking it was just leaking here. I think the pump's actually fine. So, I wonder, is this homie? Would this fit on there? Let's find out. Get that. Oh, it does. Oh. Oh. The problem is it doesn't fit down here, so that's all that hooting and hollering I just did was for the three, no purpose. It seems like it's a three-eighths. So with that being the case, I am I'm not sure why I lobbed this all apart. But I'm just gonna lay this dude out here like that, and I'm just gonna cut you right here. It works. If it does, if this doesn't work and fix the issue, then what I can do is I'll just pull it right back out and put the 525 in it and just be done with it. But I think the reason this pump stopped um, supplying sufficient pressure was not because the pump in itself is bad, but because the hose decided it had enough of life and was done. So we're just going to take this clamp and we're going to just keep on cranking her down. I mean, it's not pretty. I'll be honest. It's not. Not pretty, but that should keep the pressure on. Okay, so let's go ahead and just Okay. I have no idea what this thing's even for, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna really just crank her on there. Just, come on, you know you want to. It doesn't have a sock, and so I can't fit a sock inside of this container because the one that came with Hellcat pump is too, she's too big. Doesn't fit in the bucket, so um, we'll just, check and see if if this is in fact the issue if this hose literally is what was causing the low pressure issue i'm not gonna lie it wouldn't surprise me if it is because that hose was pretty uh, she was pretty beat up so all right so we've got everything that we need thus far now it's just going to be a matter of I'm getting her all crammed back inside this bucket without having to pry off the pan. I'm gonna have to just do that, aren't I? It's kind of is frustrating, but. And then this entire little thing should just, there we go. I can get that back on in a minute. This needs to go in here. Pushed down in there. So now we just dunk that in there. Okay, 
So now we have to get that all lined up. She is all ready to go. So we'll go ahead and get everything situated. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to over drill the holes that I had originally drilled so that the self tappers don't get hung up in this plate. A little quarter inch bit. Just like that so that the self tappers don't have to try to cut through it or anything. Another thing too is if I really wanted to make this even better I could just take all these holes oversize them then uh, put some rib nuts in, right? So now we got, we'll slide this dude back up in here. We got our gauge right there. Good old 60 pounds, that's not too bad. Comes down, you know, once it settles and everything, but, oh, sorry. Got like 55 pounds, not bad. Not bad at all. So something that I thought was gonna be a sinking Hellcat 525 in a stock truck <laughs> turned into just a bad fuel hose. So that's pretty darn cool. I'm glad that that all worked out. I was able to get that fixed pretty quick. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and take the fuel pressure gauge off, get the truck out of here so I can get back to work. But thanks for tuning in guys. I know this isn't kind of like what I do for work, well, like I post on Instagram and stuff, but this is the kind of stuff that happens, man. It happens and you gotta fix it. And so this is the kind of stuff I would like to try to keep going, uh, the kind of videos and stuff. So if this is stuff that you guys like, go ahead and like the video, subscribe. Uh, if you have any suggestions, feel free to comment as well. I'd like to hear from you guys. I got 250 subs, which is pretty stinking cool. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well and uh, stay safe, have a good weekend and uh, you know, keep on keeping on.